um, this is Dr. Napa from Salem State University. Uh, uh, thank you so much for giving us this a chance for our undergrad uh, research group to publish in this awesome conference. So uh, we do have a group work um, in, in data science, which is uh, we divide the data science groups into uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, so we do um, have uh, three papers with three different groups for this conference. And um, I'm the faculty advisor for um, this research group. So this is just the background about our um, research group at Salem State University. Um, they they participate in different like um, they participate in different uh, conferences and um, they, uh, their work have been like published last year in 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 conference here at the United States and this year we publish at this conference and probably in the future as well. So um, our representation today, it is um, an approach using machine learning model for uh, breast cancer reduction. I'm going to walk through like a presentation outline, abstract introduction, uh, related work, and we will provide a description of the problem and the main objectives of the study, and then the graphical user interface for the for the system that we design and then um the conclusion that we got and if you have any uh like recommendation for us in the future like any question anytime just uh, let me know i will be happy to um to do it so so this is the like what like one of the prediction that we are using it's cancer prediction and uh, the main idea you know that like uh, using different uh, machine learning models or artificial intelligence uh, to help out um, the prediction either for like diagnosis or for um for uh, the treatment or for um, just the predicting the the the, the stage uh, as pre uh, pre uh, progression of the uh, cancer develops and um using machine learning we have different direction of the machine learning and artificial intelligence but uh, our main goal for the undergrad is apply the model as it is and try to um like um, try to design a user interface that can help um people in the future what type of, of help like uh, non-computer um non-computer science people um it will be um easier for them to use um the application in in in, in terms of um in terms of apps instead of like um trying to figure out the the, the manual work okay now you can see like the, the sample data that we use it's from um it's from like a couple of institutes around us, but for privacy and security, we cannot sh share the data. We use it for an experiment, um, public available data. Okay. Now you can see like uh, breast cancer is one of the most common disease that uh, that uh, happen around uh, around the world, and it it caused the death of several women around the world so early detection it is one of the important steps and we can see in, in different uh, um, in, um, research institute they are looking for improving and improving all the tools that they have to uh, make the breast cancer reduction um, as soon as like possible for all the patients um we can see like that the, the um uh, the projectors that we uh, design by applying either deep learning approach and uh, training the model that can predict breast cancer by scanning every dimensional batches of the microscope tissues images the methodology used um, it will be apply um, different models of machine learning and then compare the accuracy of these models as a related work we figure out uh, different related work available. 
um, some of them using um, uh, so using deep learning, others using artificial intelligence, using um, uh, applied machine learning models, which should be called applied uh, using the models as it is without any uh, without any uh, modification. And the main objective is of uh, this research or study to gain knowledge on how to integrate the breast cancer detection in a user interface and to learn how to design user interface that consists of key features to um, detect um, different like um, uh, area of the uh, cancer and apply the um, a machine learning using different uh, Python models. And we can see here like a sample of um, the images and uh, for the experiment for this paper, we don't use the images. We use the data, of course, that matches uh, of these images. Okay, now um, for the methodology that we used, um, we used, um, or um, before the methodology, we used um, system requirement that required to uh, to be have in your system before we apply the model, the system will upload sample test data um, using like um, using um, the bath and then specify the batch in the images from patient sample. And then the program will um, have features that will uh, show the training and testing data and can give you more um, more flexibility to access your data either in the analysis level or in the display level of your data. And here is the user interface for our system. So before, before we go there, I wanted to uh, mention about the methodology that we use. So the, the methodology that we use it here it's um, comparing for um, three different models, which is decision tree classifier, support vector machine, and painter's uh, neighbor classifier. So it's it's give us different accuracy for each of these models. But again, we improving the system to um, to uh, apply deep learning because this is the main goal of using. Um, of using user interface. So user interface, it is more generalized because um, we're gonna every time upload the data that you wanted to uh, do the analysis for it and then do filtration of your data. And then you can choose based on the model that you have. So for example, when you apply your data, we're gonna check as pre-processing step for this data. If your data require pre-processing, I'm gonna give you like uh, more uh, flexibility to access different uh, pre-processing step for your data. If the data is clean and there is no pre-processing, we're gonna move to the prediction level where, where you wanted to divide your uh, data to uh, training and testing data, and then do your prediction in the end. So as, as an app or uh, web based, it's straightforward, but it is, the idea is to design a system that can be used for any machine learning models. So you can see here, upload files and show the upload files, make sure this is the right files that you wanted to do. And then start like data statistical. So start like investigating your data. You wanted to see if your data has any noise to do the filtration, if your data um, uh, if you upload the, the right files or not, and so on for all the pre-processing steps. And then we can um, do the basic visualization for your data just to investigate um, the, the relation between the um, features that you have, and then you can choose a machine learning model that can be used to do the prediction. And then you can see here, like you can access by uploading the file, you can access um, you can access different uh, folders from your um, from your computer, either from your local computer or from the cloud, and then you can choose different 
um, you can choose different uh, folders and upload different files um, in your from your computer or from the uh, cloud based to do the analysis. And then you can see here, like uh, with the uh, showing the upload files, you can see the file that you upload to your computer, if it is um, it is uh, the right files or not. It's to include all the data that you need for the analysis or not. And then, um, and then we can see here, like the implementation platform, it uh, implemented all uh, using Python and uh, SQLite for uh, saving the data and database, and then um, Visual Studio Code to um, to write the a script of this work and of course as a software uh, requirement uh, you wanted to install specific uh, softwares in your computer to make sure that um, you have the right like uh, software before use the app that we have and then we provide um, different we provide different um, we provide different like um, public access but we haven't like um, um, we haven't opened it for the public yet, as in GitHub uh, link, okay? So we will be doing that soon. And then as a conclusion, um, as a conclusion from the three models that we use, we use decision tree, support vector machine, and uh, naive phase with um, uh, K-nurse neighbor. You can see the accuracy of each of them, and then the runtime, we like prefer using naive base for this um, type of reduction. And for right now, we improving the model using uh, deep learning. So uh, as a conclusion of, um, of this work, so um, a naive base has been used effectively to predict whether a patient will uh, have a breast cancer based in some feature the model has achieved like the accuracy and the, the most important feature are the one with high value. Is it in the result it looks that some variables has the most significant influence of our model. Um, and then we do have a um, couple of features that participate in this um, it, participate in this type of reduction. And um, uh, and we are improving the model for right now for uh, deep learning. So, um, as 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 a future work, we still continuing um, applying and um, uh, a different experiment in the data. We are in touch with uh, with the people that uh, or the institute, which is uh, Harvard uh, Institute for Research. We are in touch with them about. Um, more insights and depth related to the um, result that we get so far. So, um, yes, so this is like uh, a presentation that I can participate with. This is not the final draft that we have for the conference, but uh, because of the like um, misconnection that the student um, cannot access the internet for today and I don't have a final version, so I'm I'm glad that I make it just to present like at least one of the topics that we have. So if you have any question, please let me know.